Hey, that's right, and I am one of those people really looking forward to tomorrow. This is going to be my first thunder, so you at home, be sure to send me your list of recommendations of must-see events. Now, I've been over here in Jeffersonville all day, and it is electric. People are really looking forward to tomorrow and seeing these aircrafts flying. And, of course, there's a bit of cross-state rivalry fun going on. They over here say they have the best view. That's because not only do they get to see the show, they also get to see that beautiful Louisville sky. Skyline. And earlier today, I popped into a local waterfront restaurant, Harry's Tap House and Kitchen. They opened in May of 2020, so this is their first time being open during a normal Thunder Over Louisville event. They've spent months getting ready, and now it's finally here. They say this beautiful weather forecast is icing on the cake for what they expect to be an awesome day tomorrow. An event like this just really brings it to the forefront of how great a job that the city of Jeffersonville has done over the course of the last five to seven years of, of building up what at one time really was no one ever came down here and now it is the place to go um, and we're just happy to be a part of it. Now earlier today I saw the paratroopers practicing and tons of people were out to see the fighter jets making their practice routines ahead of tomorrow. And a reminder from the Jeffersonville mayor, it is going to be hot, so be sure that you bring your hats, your extra water and wear your sunscreen. They will have water stations out, but on a day where it's in the mid 80s and you're next to the river, it is very easy to dehydrate. For now reporting in Jeffersonville, Rachel Droz, WHAS 11 on your side.